All right, so uh, another Jean-Claude Van Damme classic. Yeah, one I've always kind of wanted to see what it was about since I was a kid. Yeah. Um, I would see it at Blockbuster and Hollywood Video. Parents would never let me get it because of Dennis Rodman. Yeah, because Dennis Rodman <laughs> is a disgusting human being. <laughs> just look, he's just gross looking at him. I don't want to, I don't want to see him. <laughs> uh, so yes, this is Double Team, 1997. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this is sort of the tail end of good Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. Oh yeah, this is when it's Late starting Late 90s, going things are starting to <laughs> take a downturn, really. Oh my god, yes. Uh so, I didn't know this was going to be such a wacky movie. I didn't either. I thought I thought it was going to be just like fights and stuff. But are they intentionally wacky? Were they wanting it to be a comedy? I mean, they were yeah. trying. They were trying with the the, the basketball one liner jokes yeah. and shit. Um, I don't. But no, some of that act, some of the action, and some of the acting was definitely. Uh, some good. It was good, good cheese. Yeah, call it. Yeah, good, good cheese. cheese. Yeah, good cheese. Like the, uh, was it the the parachute ball? Yes, that is probably the best <laughs> example. Where they're. Oh, I was right. You got pulled over. How about that? Ah. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Yeah, so Rodman and <laughs> Van Dam falling out of a plane. Uh. Rodman doesn't know how to to skydive. Oh yeah, this this is like way into the movie too. I don't even know what the, I don't even remember what the fuck why they're coming out of this plane, but they Van Dam comes up and pulls his like his ripcord and they they it, get enveloped in a giant yeah. basketball. Yeah, like the, they're inside of it. Okay, yeah, they're inside of it <laughs> and just end up on the ground. There's like oh, they're all in a ball. They just got on the field. And they're like oh, we're fine. <laughs> Like these physics make no sense. It doesn't. <laughs> but the premise of this story, uh, so you got Jean Claude Van Damme. He'll meet Dennis Rodman later on in the in the movie, but the main villain is Mickey Rourke. Right. He just likes to blow stuff up. I guess. He looks like the bad guy from The Mask. Yeah. Just, but it's just it's his, his face. Face. He got implants in like his cheeks and stuff, didn't he? It looks like cheeks and jaw yeah the dude looks super weird even when he was younger i mean when he got older it's sort of like his face sort of melted together and it looks not quite as weird but yeah. i feel like he even looks weirder in this movie yeah but yeah so he's he's a super terrorist or whatever and, and van damme is super secret agent but he fucks up. He fucks up this mission to capture him, right? So Van Damme fucks up. So he was already retired. They're yeah. like, we need you to come back to get this guy. Yeah, you're the only one that yeah. can do it. And then he can retire after getting this guy. Yeah, he's got a wife, a pregnant wife. Yeah. So, okay, come back for one mission. Sounds good. Cool, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it in 36 hours. Yeah. No, doesn't happen. They, they fake his death. Well, yeah, they, they fuck up the mission. Mickey yeah. Rourke's son gets killed yes. in this this carnival thing. <laughs> There's this big gunfight. <laughs> and then, yeah, Van Damme gets shot. And then uh, a whole bunch of glass breaks yeah. everywhere. There's a hundred breaking. panes of glass break in this fight. You, you mentioned there was a sale on, on yes. breakaway glass. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. So it goes in this weird shit. I think it, you know, I, I have seen this movie, but it's so long, I don't really remember any of yeah. it. But I'm, you're thinking, okay, it's just going to be Van Damme and uh, Dennis Rahman teaming up, which it is. But there's this whole there's this whole bit where since Van Damme failed this mission, he gets sent to the colony. Yeah. And we learn that the colony is this, this island resort slash prison. For not just former secret agents, but former Villains. terrorists. Yeah. Just put they them all, all together. They all <laughs> and, they, and they're all on this fucking island, and they're, they've got these... Omega these, watches. These watches that track them, and they have to put their fingerprint on this, this thing in their room every day at a certain time yeah. when they're bringing in the food shipments. And they're, but they all have to be on there. They're like analysts for all these 
government agencies. But right? nobody they, knows about them. Yeah, they're the most super secret, secret retirement prison community. It's, it's really yeah, weird. It's like you can choose to die or join the colony. Yeah. And the colony is for all those people that were too good to let die, but not good enough to let go. Go, I think was what right. they, were, what they too, were saying was too good to let it leave. They they couldn't go out and retire on their own. Yeah, but they couldn't kill him either, so <laughs> they put him in this secret prison. I mean, what? it's a nice prison. Yeah, just at a resort. Oh. Yeah, on an <laughs> island, it's pretty nice. Yeah. I just <laughs> I like this bit of the movie. It would almost yeah. be cool if this was just the movie. Yeah, right. It's a bunch uh, of old men trying to get out. That's a chair. <laughs> There he is. We uh, he's, he's we here just now. thought you'd said fuck it. We yeah. No. But mm-hmm. we. Well, yeah, that's usually bad. Yeah. Idea. Well, since yeah. Nick is, didn't go to jail, um, um, shots. from whatever just happened to yeah. him, we're gonna take these shots. He won't be in shot, but you can hear him. Nice. That's everybody's favorite thing to do is hear him. Hear but not see. Yeah. So yeah. So they're on this. Uh, Van Dam's on this prison resort colony, and uh, he's analyzing this data, and he sees a message from Mickey Rourke. Oh, in yeah. the, <laughs> Mickey Rourke just somehow knows he's going to look at this one frame of this one terrorist attack or whatever. <laughs> he knows and it's about like, this colony. I've got your butterfly, and his wife yeah. has this butterfly tattoo. He's like, I got your butterfly. And yeah. he, you know, he puts his initials on it or whatever. So now Van Dam has to escape from the super prison that's surrounded by lasers underneath the ocean. Yeah, I I love uh, prison movies. I like uh, even sci-fi prison movies. I don't know if you guys have seen. Uh, I think it's called The Fortress with uh, uh, Stallone and Fifty Cent. Christopher Lambert or yeah. Christopher Lambert, if you want to be really fancy about it. Mm. But it's like a space prison movie. Yeah. Like on an asteroid or something, I love that kind of shit. So there's a little bit of that in this movie, and it might, I might have even liked it more if it was just all him getting out from the prison. But, but yeah, he he works out a way to escape. Basically. Yeah, by working out in his uh, room, lifting up the bathtub, pumping his bathtub. Yeah, pumping the bathtub. Yeah, cutting off his fingerprint. Put it on. Yeah. Got to. But uh, so he he makes it out, which is pretty cool, and, and uh, goes back, meets up with Dennis Rodman. Which oh yeah, by the way, Dennis Rodman. Um, we just talk about Dennis Rodman for a yeah. minute. Um, it's funny his hair changes color every scene. Every time, it's just, changes you know, funny, outfit. Most it's a funny gag. Yeah. Uh. He's disgusting to look at. His face, he's got to be the ugliest person I've ever seen. Probably. <laughs> right? He's fucking ugly. He's one of them. He's, well, he's up there. He definitely does stick out like a sore Who's thumb anyway. Who's fucking loser? Yeah. Who's the loser on Saturday Night Live that every hot chick in the world ends up dating? Remember? Uh, Pete Davidson? Yes. He's like a black, blown up version of Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like him. That guy must have the most mad game in the world. <laughs> right? He's getting the Kardashians. He went from Kate Beckinsale to Kim Kardashian, this guy. But anyway, we're Some, talking about... Something's about, working. Yeah, something's working for him. <laughs> Dresses like a fucking slob. Looks, looks like a fucking burnout. That's um, what I aspire to one day. Yeah. But no, we, we've got Dennis Rodman, um, which... I, I, and I mentioned this when we were watching. I feel like they wanted Wesley Snipes, but couldn't get him. Yeah, Rodman just can't. He can't deliver a single line. No, it's it's, it's all terrible. It's, it's like bad. weird hearing him. It's awkward. As do shit. these one liners and talking and yeah. Did y'all talk about his uh, weapons peddling and all that? <laughs> No, I didn't come up with that, but yeah, he's a weapons. Yeah, he's peddler. like the weapons guy for yeah. the super secret he's got, he's organization. Got like, it's like his off brand cube from James Bond. He's got his trainees that go in with him yeah. when he shows off all the his <laughs> weapons. <laughs> and all the dummies that he shoots have bondage gear yes. on. Yeah, not just breaking yeah. the mannequins and all yeah. that yeah. stuff. It was, it was the 90s, uh, which I'm not sure if they did set like an actual. 
time for this movie. Because you'd ask, is like, is this like a futuristic movie? But I'm like, I think they were just doing this because they're like, this would be some cool spy shit. Yeah, yeah. spies yeah. just have this kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. It seems like an amalgam of a lot of different styles of movies cast together. Mm -hmm. Like with the, the prison parts of the movie, it seemed like a prison escape movie. And then they're shooting at the carnival and it kind of felt like a... They did like the Matrix thing where mm -hmm. it kind of slowed down. Terror, that was so bad. Yeah, it was a really bad attempt at that. Yeah. And then Van Damme having like hyper vision for a minute. It was yeah. like a circle of seeing a dude behind him. It was weird. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the. If they were actually trying to do that or they were just trying to do some editing shit to make it look more. Look cool. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. It had like buddy cop aspects to it because him and Dennis Rodman are like doing this like hand. You know, they do it with the monster. <laughs> but they're... The internet friars. That was fucking, yeah. <laughs> also, Dennis Rodman has a crew of monks that he had that have, like, their... Their, their mainframe. Internet servers. Yeah. Or whatever. And they're making internet jokes, like, I'll send you an email. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> Porn's popping Porn's up on their computer. Yeah. Uh, you know the like, internet. Oh, yeah, I don't know uh, how that got there. And then, <laughs> Which is, it's a, it's, it's entertaining, good, bad. It, it does cross into entertaining, bad. You know. Oh yeah. Because Rodman is terrible. Oh, we we miss the Asian dude in the hotel room. Yeah, that's a good example yeah. of the crazy random shit that happens in this movie. Oh, he's got the fuck. He's got the foot knife. Yeah, the 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 foot knife switchblade. Yeah. But you're not describing it. He, the man takes his kicks his shoes off at him. And then he see his bare foot, and then a switchblade comes out from his toes. You can see the whole bottom of his foot. Where is this knife? Because yes, I do. That'd be great. Oh, thank man. you, thank you so much. Are sticks available? Yes. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful woman. Yes. Save this because I'm keeps, fucking dying over here. the kitchen open for us. Wait on this guy. Waiting on this man over here. Uh, That's your punishment. You don't get to be on the camera. There goes my screen. Huh? Yeah. But yeah, this this <laughs> this great kung fu battle where the guy. Oh, but the first thing is you see him slip out of his shoes. Oh, Sorry, I was making the sure. The Kung Fu was man slips out of his shoes yes. and then jumps up and then flips his shoes at me. Oh yeah, he's just like oh. <laughs> and that's when the switch blade comes out. But you can see that you see the end of the handle, yeah, and then the blade, and it's like it's just embedded in his fucking foot, <laughs> yeah. like. And then Van Dam eventually kicks it away, and you can just see the whole you see the whole knife. It's just a, it's I have a switch blade, just, just like yeah. just got one just there. And it's just like where did he? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But that was pretty. It was not bloody at all. There was no foot juice or nothing on that knife. Foot so juice. There's a yeah. <laughs> there's no way of telling how. There's a great scene where Van Dam and Mickey Rourke are having this brief fight in the, the fucking uh, the baby the baby ward or whatever of the hospital. Oh, at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, and the <laughs> Mickey Rourke drops a grenade into a baby cart and then shoves it. <laughs> Damn. Just, your wife's like, <gasps> yeah, and Van Dam's like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> just Van Dam's about to have a kid. Yeah, Rourke just lost his kid, and he's like, nobody can have a kid. If right, I have a kid. <laughs> nobody just can have a kid. If I can have a kid. <laughs> I had a horse, and the horse is gonna miss. The horse gonna miss my boy. I like he was thinking about the horse's feelings. Yeah, <laughs> not his <laughs> own. Yeah. Or anybody else's the horse. So uh, we. <laughs> there's the thing you talk about, buddy cop, but Van Dam. It's Damme, not really a buddy yeah, cop. Yeah, Van Dam and uh, they're Dennis like Rodman aren't together in most no, of the movie. Yeah. They so, meet and then they get together at the end. Yeah, and they're like the screen time for it that they're there at the end is like not long, maybe 10, 15 minutes. That's what I feel like together. Yeah. But I was really hoping Rourke was like. Because this man was dead for months. Wife thought he was dead. I was really hoping Mickey Rourke married, <laughs> married Van Damme's Yeah, to adopt the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it sounds like I'm your dad. Like, I'm, I'm the dad. She's yeah. like, he saved me when you were gone. Yeah. 
You're terrible. Why are you? Why are you trying to fight him? He was there for me when you weren't. Yeah. yeah. You were there saving the world. That would be too realistic for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> there is a sequel to this. Um, I have. I think it was like straight to DVD or something, but I think it was Dennis Rodman and somebody else. I don't think Bam that makes Bam's more sense. Yeah. yeah, that makes more yeah. sense. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'll do it again. Double, double. And Van Damme was like, no, no. Even Van Damme <laughs> turned it down. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like the uh, speaking of I guess towards the end. I, mm -hmm. I, I like Dennis Rodman whipping around on the motorbike, just dodging landmines. Do yeah, that. I mean, it was funny, scene. stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, towards the end, you got Mickey Rourke is, which I don't understand why he's just leaving clues for this man to come and find him, but he does, and they end up in like the Gladiator Dome. <laughs> with landmines and crosses. He's like, I put the crosses by the landmines. I mean, be careful where you step. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really defeats the purpose yeah. of a landmine. <laughs> We're going to have a little fight and then I'm going to run away for a bit and meet back up with you. <laughs> well, he's got his baby out there. Yeah, he's got his baby, baby out, out there, there and then he releases the tiger. Yes. And he's like, if, he's like, I'm going to give you a chance to save your son. Yeah. And you just fight this fucking tiger. But the baby, but he says, he says, if you if you die, then I'll raise your son. Right. But then he just releases a tiger with the baby. It's just right there. Yeah. The tiger's like, oh, and then, yeah. sniffing the baby. And then Dennis Rodman just rides in on that fucking dirt bike. Oh, oh, oh I got the baby. I'm just going to drive around in circles <laughs> across these landmines. <laughs> it's really dumb. Yeah. I, I think that... I didn't. I didn't. I don't know if I've got one good jumping split roundhouse kick from Van Damme in no, this movie. No, it was all dumb kicks that were like shot over and over again. He right? did. Yeah, he did some kicks, but it wasn't. I don't. I don't think the martial arts were up to it. Anything No, not in this one. No, we're not on blood. They were. Levels. They. This was during the time where like club techno nineties. Is happening. They're like, we're gonna get all these ninety dudes just rolling on Molly to come and watch this movie. We're gonna. That's it. That's how we're gonna get our money. Dennis Rodman's living in Antwerp, which might be the only place he actually fits in. Yeah. They just have photos at the scuba diver strip. Oh, that was that was part of the club. The bonded yeah. scuba diver yeah. strippers. Yeah. That was back when clubs were cool. Yeah. That's when some shit went down. <laughs> Back when some shit went down. Yeah. In Germany. Now we got safe spaces in the club. Can't even call people slurs now. All right, you want to get to these reviews or uh, scores? No, scores. God. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I do want to point out also the very end when. Uh, Dennis Rodman pulls up some of the crosses that mark the landmines. Oh, yes. And so Mickey Rourke stand, accidentally, you know, he steps on one and they, they run back and he's just standing there and the, the tiger runs in yeah. and Mickey Rourke's just, you know, and he pulls his foot off right as the tiger and it blow, gets to yeah. him and it blows them both up. That was pretty good. Up the whole yeah, and then and, all the landmines. Yeah. And Van Dam, the baby, Dennis Rodman. Oh, British guy that was following Van Dam because he was assigned to kill him because he escaped the prison land. But yeah, they hide behind the Coke machine. Coke machine. It's Just like that fucking Indiana Jones refrigerator yeah. scene. It's stupid. <laughs> they, they, it was definitely a Coke commercial. <laughs> they're literally running down this hallway, and they're just Coke machines tumbling at them. There's this tumble of Coke machines, and they get behind the one. And Dennis Rodman's like, like oh. wait, let me grab this Coke machine. I'll hold it in front of us. The landmines are blowing up like a thousand-year-old Coliseum structure, but I tell you what, that dang vending machine held up like a champ. Yeah. 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 Nuclear Holocaust happens. Coke machine, Coke machine or refrigerator. Yeah. If you don't have a refrigerator, next best bet is a Coke machine. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. got to be a Coke machine, not a Diet Coke machine, not a Pepsi machine. It's got to be a Coke machine. Mm. 
Not an RC, RC coal machine. machine. Uh, you know, I might be better just dying with RC coal machine. Yeah, I got, I got family ties to that RC coal. Oh, yeah? Yeah. RC coal in here, man. It's all Oh. My, my pappy used to work for RC. Oh. I retired from that company. That's a local company. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh, it's good. I used to yeah. love RC. Cola. Yeah. I'm not talking get, down. I would get listen. so <laughs> much stuff. <laughs> I got Surge for free because they were doing something oh, to them at the God. time. Yeah. Surge. Well, yeah. And then, like, the very end, you got Dennis Rodman. Could have been just a very simple conclusion. I just need some hair. Oh, and a yeah, 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 yeah. And then Dennis Rodman's like, T. Heat's still got one more explosive. Arbitrarily just throws it out there. And then yeah. as, the, as the camera's zooming out, he's complaining, oh, they're going to find me for this. How much is this going to cost? How much are going to blame me? It's like, bro, you just lit off an explosive right in front of me. So, yeah, the guy from the colony that's yeah. supposed to bring uh, Van Dam back in, well, he's supposed to kill him because he escaped. Yeah. Right? He escaped from the super secret prison. He's like, oh, just give me some of your hair and your shirt, and we'll, we'll just protect your we dad. Need. Yeah. Ron, Ron Van Dam's like, oh, starting to do That's it? not cool. good enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw this exploding quarter at you. Get out of here, Van Dam, with your baby. And then, and then Van Dam and the baby runs away, and then Rodman and the guy are just like, ah. <laughs> uh, hilarious. You're so quirky. Oh, I'll go. So, yeah, I, I'm going to go. This is. Definitely low on the Van Damme movies that I legitimately like, mm -hmm. but as far as '90s action and that kind of era, it's 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 uh it's got enough stupid to cross from just bad to bad good. Yeah. So I'm gonna go four out of five. It, it, it's entertaining. It's dumb. Uh, there's a lot of stupid one-liners. The action is really dumb. Uh, Dennis Rodman, he, he's, it's like he's a freak. She's a walking freak show. He's disgusting. He, so there's some entertainment value there. <laughs> the fucking parachuting out of the plane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we brought that up okay. with the basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. did. We did mention that. That yeah. that, not over all that, that is. Yeah, that was definitely <laughs> good. So I'm gonna go four to five. Almost. Yeah, I'm also gonna go with you. Uh, four out of five on it, just because. Oh yeah, another thing that bothered me was like how they thought binoculars work <laughs> on the shots. It was fucking weird. I hated it. No uh, point, like they're looking down, but the guy's at ground level. Yeah, and it's like a weird zoom. Like but they zoom like they see like the top taking over Van, Van Damme's yeah. wig. Yeah, <laughs> he's got his fucking grunger. <laughs> He's in disguise. Or whatever. And my wife was like, oh, I didn't realize that was his Yeah, yeah, she didn't even know. Yeah. All you had to do is put, give him some piercings and a wig and some fucking some Dennis Rodman glasses. Dorky so those were sunglasses. definitely Dennis Rodman glasses. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it enough just because, like, so many parts of it was just so stupid. And, uh, yeah, it was just. I don't know. It was just a really stupid, try to make a really stupid uh, spy film type thing that was out there. But I feel like this was really directed at, like, not stoner kids, but kids that do club drugs, was what it was. <laughs> club drugs. Yeah. Like Dennis, people that are into Dennis Rodman. Yeah. That's definitely what they were going for. It's like, we got Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> Come see this movie. With that guy, yeah, you, know? you don't. Check it's it crazy. Yeah. He might have a wedding dress on. You never know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I give it a four. Give it a four. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give it a four out of five buckets as well. I thought this movie was very funny and entertaining to watch. It was pretty stupid, but it was definitely very enjoyable. Okay. There you go. Cool. Uh, all you new watchers out there, by the way, if you made it this far. Uh, leave us a comment or some shit on what movie to watch for next week to review. Yeah, thumbs up. And hey, yeah. go check out our interview with Mary, Mary J. J. Gillis. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. We might. You know how many people the, have interviewed Mary J. Gillis? Not many. Not many. And none of them have it as extensive of an interview. If you want the uncut interview. <laughs> yeah. Um, donate to us. I'll put some Email link Patrick. up there. Email Patrick. And we'll and send you the clip of Barry J. Gillis that, that made Barry J. Gillis afraid that he couldn't enter the United States anymore. Which <laughs> we sh should be getting his movie soon. Oh, yeah? Because okay. I think he did say he's about done with doing something. Good. 
good. He did promise us yeah. that. We'll uh, have to do a re we'll do a review of his new movie. Oh, and then there was a repress of uh, Wicked Things by him, by the way. Really? Yeah. Uh, Wicked World. Wicked, Wicked World. Wicked World. Yeah. I've got Wicked World. What I need yeah. is things. I need things. Yo, yeah. And the new one that's the new one that's not out yet that has Corey yeah. Feldman in it. He's supposed to mail it to me. And Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that one. But yeah, let us let us know what you want us to review and comment, like, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, that's it. That's it.